So in today's video, we're going to go over how the Lion Safari ME works and all the buttons on the front of the unit and what they do. So this is the main power switch for the unit. To do anything with your Safari ME, you need to turn it on first. This will light up the screen. You have your battery indicator on the left that shows you the percentage and the screen defaults to 99 hours and 59 minutes. The screen of your unit, once you turn it on, will stay on 24-7. If you want to shut off the screen, you hold the screen button for approximately 5 seconds and that will turn it off. You can now toggle it on and off by hitting the screen button. If you want to turn the screen and leave it back on 24-7, you have to hold that same button for approximately 5 seconds and it will now stay on. You'll be able to click the left hand output button and that turns on both left hand left sided ports here. You'll also see the screen light up indicating that you've turned on those output ports. It'll turn on your 12 volt cigarette lighter output as well as the Anderson power pole output. The bottom output button will turn on your USB A and PD outputs. This is perfect for charging cell phones, quick charging laptops, tablets, stuff like this. Your far right output button will turn on the AC plugs. These are like your common household plugs. The unit has a 2000 watt inverter with a 4000 watt surge. This means that you'll be able to power virtually any appliance in your house, no problem. Now let's turn around the unit so that we can get a look at the back. This is the input part of your generator. One of my favorite things about the Safari ME is that the AC wall charger is actually built in. There's no more losing a wall charger or needing to order another one. It's simply built in and you can just plug it into any outlet like this and start to charge. The input on the right is your Anderson power pole adapter. This is where you'll connect your solar panel extension cabling in to start charging with solar panels. We include extension cable like this with all of the kits. Anderson power pole is great. It's super simple. You go red to red and black to black, plug into the back of your generator, and the other end will go into your solar panels. Now you can start charging. The last plug here is where you connect your expansion batteries. This will increase the overall battery capacity of your entire generator system. This button here is a circuit breaker for the entire system. If anything trips, you can simply click this button and reset your system. The last thing to note is that the specs for the base unit are on the back of the generator. I'm going to leave this here and you can feel free to pause the video if you want to take down some notes.